Hi there. Welcome to Chandu.org. This one is slightly unusual but very practical, especially if you are a parent and you want to creatively engage your kids um, by providing them some worksheets for uh, their home learning time or uh, you just want to have something for practice. So I made this spreadsheet um, where uh, I could use Excel to generate random maths problems. So I'm just gonna walk through, This is these are uh, not your typical what is five plus 10 or what is 612 divided by 19, not those kind of addition, subtraction, division problems, but slightly a little more. And I plan to kind of evolve this as my kids age. I just need to remind you that my kids, uh, I have twins, uh, boy and girl, and they are 10 years old now. So they're in year five in, in school where they are now learning uh, a little bit of algebra and, um, and geometry and uh, thinking about unknowns and those kind of things. So what I have got here is uh, some of these puzzles they were able to already solve and move on but uh, let's let's take a look at this so uh, i got like different things and uh, depending on where they are at uh, we try to add more variety of problems so at their current age level and in the current practice they're pretty good at all of these things so i plan to introduce more like what is uh, a common multiplier uh, lowest common multiplier or divide divider and those kind of problems but this is a missing number puzzle where excel makes up this grid uh, random numbers basically uh, and then it, the numbers can be positive or negative there is a control settings that will tell what what is the boundary so it could be minus 10 to 50 and then this grid is filled up with the numbers and then the totals are added up here uh, and then and then the and then what i'm doing is i'm using conditional formatting to kind of randomly hide uh, uh, up to four four cells so the value is still there like if you hover there that cell does have a formula of rand between min and max so there is a number uh, but then i'm applying conditional formatting so this conditional formatting is slightly interesting in my opinion uh, and then what i'm doing is um, uh, so for each cell i just run a condition which is uh, make a random number and then uh, just check if it is less than HP. HP is the hiding uh, factor or something like that, uh, which currently set to 0 0.25. So that means each cell has the probability of getting hidden uh, one fourth. So, so when, when you apply it over 16 cells, uh, they tend to kind of gravitate towards four cells being hidden. So that's the missing number puzzle. My kids really love this. They 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 can solve it. Some of these are not obvious. Like for example, this puzzle here does have two missing numbers. So you can't really solve this first. You must solve that one, get that number, and then you can solve this. Uh, like this one does have two missing. So you you cannot solve them directly. But you solve this, and then that one becomes apparent. And then this one can be solved. Uh, and then that can be solved. And then that can be solved. So um, it does create some tricky things. What I do is when they create this worksheet, I print that two copies, obviously because twins. And then uh, I, I I double check that there is no impossible puzzles, like because um, some of these can become impossible. Like you know, this one needs a little bit close look. Like I can three known and one unknown, so I can solve that, and then that can be solved. Mm, and then that can be solved so this can be solved that can be solved so uh, this is what i do in my mind and then i give the puzzle worksheet to them they go and try to solve this so this is a uh, simple arithmetic of addition subtraction you could also have a twist of multiplication uh, but uh, this tends to get a little monotonous especially uh, there is no advantage of learning how to multiply 612 with uh, 919 uh, other than novelty factor as you grow up but you know you will at least learn uh, the, the concept so um, that's that and then I have added some additional questions at the bottom which is like what are the top three largest numbers bottom three and then uh, what is the largest total of all the six puzzles etc uh, and then this is add fractions again same technique but randomly made up fractions that they need to add so uh, this is uh, slightly it explains to them how to do the fraction fraction arithmetic uh, and then a uh, couple of problems with plus and minus signs again 
everything made with RAND between two fractions and then three fractions as well. So they can see uh, a variation. And then there is a control element that I tweak so, so that uh, uh, the problems can become slightly more harder with, with uh, bigger multiplications to be done and, and all of that. This is something that I've added recently, which is fraction multiplications and divisions. Uh, obviously, this one is a lot easier than fraction addition or subtraction, but that's the that's one. And then this is something that we are trying to teach them, Bodmos rule, which means uh, whenever you have an expression, you must evaluate that in the order of priority. So you do all your brackets off and then you do your divisions and multiplications and then you do your uh, additions and subtraction. So that's what the, the expressions are. This one was slightly tricky to come up with, but uh, it uses a lot of substitutes, etc. The idea here is uh, I'll unhide this. So I got an expression here, which which I want to generate. And then for each value there, uh, I am uh, substituting a random number. So that's that's pretty much what it is doing. Um, that's the that's the bot mass one. And then um, they again, all of these would have a control variable somewhere that will kind of determine how hard the problems can be. So going forward, uh, because now we are trying to teach them uh, a little bit of uh, uh, algebra and then um, geometry. Obviously, making geometry problems in Excel spreadsheets is uh, very hard. Like you can't really make diagrams in cells. Uh, so that's something that I'm not even attempting to do. But algebra is something that that is eminently possible. So making some equations. So you could say something like uh, x plus y is 19, x minus y is 7. What's the value? So, so those kind of things, and then. Uh, um, generating that so that's a, another worksheet that I plan to add uh, and then as as the age uh, depending on how long we could uh, keep up with this way of uh, engaging them that's what I will do so I thought uh, I'll share this spreadsheet with you uh, just as a fun exercise uh, just uh, if you go to the video description you can download the spreadsheet there is nothing fancy here most of these are very very simple formulas so that's all thank you so much for watching talk to you again soon um bye, -bye.